grab, and I'll just do this for you. I'll go grab the thesis that we wrote for okay. the previous assignment. Um, but uh, yeah, grab that, pull that up, or 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 you know, send over an email, whatever you see, or picture something. We need something there. Uh, let me just do that really quickly. Hmm. Okay, for the sixth part of our thesis, um, I'm looking right now also in the lesson that mentioned the thesis. Um, it says that the thesis is the, this is the summary of the main idea in one sentence. It is, but that's 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 not six things. And I'm, I'm almost, there's no way they would ask you this question here if they didn't say these are the six things you need to remember when you write your thesis. Yeah. So this this has to be in your notes, and this is this is part of your kind of your your uh, participation in the class, your accountability to the lecture. Um, I mean, sure, you can go out to the internet and find this, um, but yeah. I you got to be careful that this is not you got to be you got to give them what they want, and and I believe the teacher really wants you to use whatever is there. So I, I'm happy to log in to your, your class if that's what is what is needed. Um, yeah, you can do that. All right. Do you have uh, do you have your login available? Yeah. I mean, you've logged in before, so I'm pretty sure it'll, it'll automatically save. Well, tr try to keep in mind what you just said there. I I help uh, more than I help a lot more students than just you. So yeah, the, the idea that I would have your your information just readily available is probably an unreasonable thing to say because I, I we haven't done this in three or four months. Um, so while I could do that, do you have the login that you could put in the chat? That would be the fastest way to get us to where we want to go. Yes, I think so. Let me just check because. All right. So the best thing, what I usually need is is the website. The username and the password. All right, let me do that really quickly. Oops, that's the website. Now I'll just type in the user and password. All right, I just sent you the password. Yeah, so let me go to uh, to that now. And uh, all right, so we're look we're working on English eleven. Is that correct? Does that yes. look good to you? Okay. So we're on lesson two. Okay, so this is where maybe I need to go back to the course dashboard. How do I get to where I can see the actual lessons? So I'm clearly not doing the view lesson. Let's click on that. All right, here we go. Um, That's from uh, the lesson we did last week. Okay, so how do I go to lesson go to, three? Go to full course lessons. Okay, oh. so let's go back here. I'm, I'm sort of at your... Click on English 11. Okay. Go to full course lessons. All right, so we're on the right. And then, there yeah, there we go. All right, keys for a good essay. All right, I'm just gonna close some of these other tabs. I don't like having all these open. Okay, so this is the assignment, great. Uh, and this would be good for us to have anyway. 
All right. So let's take a look here. Your thesis. So you, you when, when I said, hey, it, this is probably in your lesson notes, it's right here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Maybe six. I don't know. Like it's 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 in here though. Okay. So what they're saying is include all these things, but don't just give me a list. Write it in your own words. Right. So I mean you could you could you could just say a thesis statement includes an assertion, takes a stance, includes the main idea, it's narrow and specific. Got it. Right, and that might be enough. So could you put that into a sentence for us, please? Yeah, sure. There we go. Okay, so this this is this is um this is a list. It's okay. Um do you think your instructor will accept this? Yes, I think so. Okay. All right. So I was looking at our work from before. We, we talked about it. We didn't actually get really close to, um, we didn't get completely a thesis down for, for Percy Jackson. So we, we want to, um, we want to talk about that now. So let's, let's talk about, um, some of the things that you should include in the thesis. Um, so, um, and this is something that you can support. So you want to include the words like, uh, mythology, the uh, themes of the book, and we'll be more specific. Let me go back to that screen. You're not seeing that screen. I always forget. We got to move screens. Okay. So based on the work you did in part one, create a thesis statement. So, so the themes of the book, and the big one here that we've been starting to talk about is friendship, uh, camp, things like that. Um, the um, uh, and then maybe the lessons learned. Okay, like what what do you what do you think you can learn from uh, this that applies to your own life? All right. So the thesis okay. statement is, is actually quite a long sentence. I mean, it's not a it's not a seven word sentence. It's probably a twenty one word sentence. Um, seven to ten is kind of the standard for sentences. All right. So. Um, Let's see if I can grab something that you already wrote here. Because this is really close to a thesis right here. So let's let's look at it. Mythology is interesting because it takes place in a different reality where mythical creatures and gods live. Some stories have quests that heroes have to complete so that the hero can become well-known or demigod. When I read his books, I escape the reality, the world we live in, because it makes me forget about the stress and responsibilities in this life. So your thesis is kind of all here, except you're talking about the themes of heroes versus the themes right. of friendship. So it's okay if we change that to heroes, but you have to decide what you want to talk about. Do you want to talk about heroes or friendship or both? We can talk about both if you want. Yeah, we can talk about both. Okay. All right. So let me try to help you here by cleaning up a little bit. Um, um, Let's, let's do it like this way. The mythology in Percy Jackson. Is it okay to just say Percy Jackson? Or do you have to say Percy Jackson and, or is, is that like clear enough to say? Just say Percy Jackson. They'll understand. Okay. Um, the mythology in Percy Jackson takes place in a different reality 
where creatures and gods live. Okay, so that's the start. All right. And then we can say something about these stories involve, what do they involve? What themes do they involve? Well, well okay, they involve quests, battles. Hmm. Okay, you, you, you've got some listed up here though. What, what are the ones that we're missing? Friendship, heroes, camp. Heroes camp, okay. Life lessons. And the life lessons learned. Learned in the, the book. What, 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 did, what did the life lessons do for you? They teach you, um, okay. They teach you important things that sometimes you're too broad, um, be more specific. What do they teach you? They teach you lessons that are better to learn now than in the future. Okay, still kind of broad. Um, how, how about this? How to grow up as a teenager? Yeah, that works pretty well. Okay. All right. Involve quest battles, friendship heroes, and camp. And camp. Uh, I have to add more to camp or no? I think this is okay. We're going to see what okay. the teacher says here. All right. All right. So the reason I jumped in there is because you already have, you already have like done this. So I didn't want us to like hem and haw over that, but I don't think, I don't think your teacher's going to have some complaints about that, but that's, that's, we'll see. Like it may just be that, that this is like a, you know, an exercise. So graphic organizer. Okay. Um, let's see. Review the graphic organizers in the lesson link. So I'm looking back at your lesson. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Let me go to that. All right. So here are some options for a graphic organizer. They have principal ones. So are you more of a step-by-step -step Sequence chart, flow chart, time order chart, timeline, spider map. Any of these stand out to you? Oh boy, there's too many here. Um, the step by step. Okay, so you're more of a sequential person. What's a conchal mean? All right. Um, can you tell me what steps? Give me a step here that comes to mind. Like for example. Um, like in the book? Well, let's go back and read the, um, let's go back and read the actual assignment here. Okay. Review the graphic organizers and let's only get 50 words or more. Tell me which one is best suited to help you organize the information, part one, and why. Um, so Paul, let's go back to part one. Part one is all of these, these keywords. Remember, we, we, we put a lot of keywords in here. Mm-hmm. And we kind of identified main thoughts and then sub main thoughts. I see. So the, the, the what the teacher is asking you to do is go to these right here and decide which one you think will work really well. Um, and there's not a right or wrong answer. I think the spider map might be better. This is the more common one. So what you have to do now is is exactly what is written there. You're going to say why you think the spider map will be best for you. Okay. okay. So I want you to put together a few sentences in the chat about why the spider map works for your main themes and your sub main themes or your main thoughts and your supporting thoughts. Is it clear what I'm asking? Yeah. Basically, right, you're just asking my reasoning to why the spider map will work best for my right. reasonings exactly. for Percy Jackson. Okay. Right. Go ahead. Something. Yeah. Now that I look at the spider map, it's actually 
way better because we're talking about Percy Jackson that goes in the topic and then we can put the different types of characteristics that go into the book. Well, try to remember what you have as main thoughts. Are your main thoughts the characters? Yeah, technically. Well, let me go back and look what we wrote because we said we said main thoughts yeah i didn't mean characteristics i just couldn't didn't remember the word main thoughts were family friendship betrayal and camp so maybe friendship has its characters yeah but the rest of them like these were what goes on on the web of your spider percy jackson is what goes in the middle got it Should I like also um, mention how like the chart will be easy for me to organize? Because I've only so far written that it will be easy to put down my topic, main, and supportive thoughts, but that's not enough yes. to explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So keep giving me information. You're not you're not talking about why you're filling it out, how you're filling it out. You're just putting in that you, that you like it because of of these characteristics. Does that make sense? Like you're, you, you yes. know, you're saying why you, why yeah, why you like it, not how you're going to use it. Yeah. So this is get down as much as you can, and then I'll try to probe you for. Uh, All right. I don't know what else to write. This is awkward because I'm leaving on a sentence that I'm not even finished with. Well, don't do that. Finish the sentence. Yeah, I'll try to finish it, but if the sentence doesn't make sense, the sentence might not make sense, but I'll try.
All right, there we go. So we'll take a look at what you've got. Okay. Uh, let me see. Am I actually sharing this? Yeah. Okay. The uh, I think the Smiter map will work best for me because it will be easy for me to put down my topic, main, and support thoughts. Okay. So tell me more about where are you going to put your topic in the Spider map? Where does the topic go? The topic goes in the middle, and the middle is the head. Okay, in the middle. Okay. Um, so now where do the main thoughts go? It goes all around the middle. Let's use center instead of middle. Yeah. Uh, that's another one of those that we... Okay. And where do the supportive thoughts go? Uh, under the main ones. Okay, uh, all right, so I guess that's what you kind of went to here. Um, you kind of did that there. So that now it's now it's better, this is a better sentence. So let's look at how many words we've got here. 36, so we're not that far away. We just need one more sentence, okay? All right, okay. Um, so it's, so say, uh, say uh, talk about, um, and I'll start the sentence for you. I had originally considered using the step by step chart, but this is where you're gonna type something in. You're gonna type, give me a reason why we didn't use that. And I'll put that in the chat there. You're gonna finish this sentence. So either why that one didn't work or why, um, um, why this one is better than that one. Got it.
All right, I just send you what I wrote, and I think it's good. All right, so yeah, it, this is uh, there, there's a few things that we're gonna remove that. Um, That's not uh, necessary. Yeah, I, like it's it, it, it's filler, um, and and you're so close to the fifty words, like you don't need to give filler. You could say I originally considered using the step by step chart, um, but I didn't quite understand it. That's fine, um, and rather than saying that, so, so, so um. I didn't quite understand it. So the the the, the way to proceed here is to say the spider chart is is instead of saying simpler is a better fit, and that's what I was trying to get you to, to say um, why something was better or why something was worse. Why is it a better fit? And you can't just say the same thing you said before. So that's where right. it would be better to say. Um, why you didn't understand the step by start step chart? That might be a better way because I didn't understand it. Why didn't you understand it? Like, what is it about it that you didn't understand? Just I didn't understand what they meant by the step by step. Okay, so uh, how to incorporate the steps from the main thoughts? Okay. All right, let's see if we've done it here. Do you think there's 50 words there? I think 58. so. Good. Okay. No, I'm only over by like eight words. That's not bad. All right, so it's 50 words or more. I mean, it's okay to give more, but you don't need to give more that isn't. You don't need yeah. to give more just to give more. So this is uh, this is good. It's always. It's always important, I think, to scan over your document and make sure that you've actually answered everything. Um, all right, uh, two, three, four, five. I think it's also good to really space out where your answers are so it's easy for your instructor to read. All right, there it is, okay. So we've got that knocked out. So uh, I know you sent over another thing for us to look at. Let me go ahead and open that up. So this is uh, physical science looks like. Yeah. Um, the okay. physical science lesson is also a lab, but I can do, do the lab later. It's I just want to try to answer most of the questions. Sure. Yeah. All right. It says do a brief internet search to determine if there is a relationship between temperature and volume of a known amount of water. So the the best way to proceed is to actually take those words. Okay. And I'll, I'll put them in the chat here. But those words. Actually, I'm not sharing. I apologize. There we go. Okay. Always let me know if I'm not sharing because uh, we're moving around a lot in the windows. All right. So what I just put is a, is a Google search. Um, I would just do a quick search on that. And the hardest part here is how to cite the web page. Um, I think we can just put a link in. Do you want to use a credible web page? So the, what, the, what we learned from, from previous lessons is that doing something like answers.com isn't the best option. All right, uh, so let me, uh, let me new share. All right, so I did it, I, I put that search into Google I guess it's 25 years of Google. That's great. Um, University of Hawaii. That's a that's got to be that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, if it's from a university, I assume it, that seems reasonable, right? Yes. Yeah, so here we go. Uh, I mean, it's right here. So this is your link, and what I want you to do is to. And this is the hardest thing to do is to paraphrase or put this in your own words. What you yeah, see here. Yeah, paraphrasing is a hard thing. 
I agree. So got to give it a try, a try though. So for I to rewrite that sentence as best you can, um, I'm going to go back to the other screen. So let's just do one at a time. So it says, do a brief intercept search to determine if there is a relationship. So you can start by saying, answering that question, is there a relationship? Is there a relationship? Um, yes. If you're not sure, I guess read this, because um, it does. Yeah, it does I'm, I'm just rereading it really okay. quickly just to make sure. Yes. Yes, there is a relationship. It says that uh, um, when the temperature goes down, the volume decreases. And when the temperature goes up, it increases. It increases. So you have to put, you have to answer, you have to, you want to be very clear. You want to say, yes, there is a relationship, period. Like always answer the question. Then, then give, then give, you know, uh, this in your own words, then purple. Okay. Can you just repeat that one more time to make sure I understand? I just want to make sure I didn't miss hear anything. Yes. When it when it asks you a direct question, is like this, it's asking, "Is there a relationship between temperature and volume?" You answer it directly. Yes, there is a relationship between temperature and volume. Yes. Got it. Like, like always answer that then then uh you have to talk about what the relationship is in your own words got it Like this, is this what you meant from whatever I've written down? Right, so the, this is, uh, the, we're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna grab this and we're gonna kind of work, rework it here a tiny bit. Um, okay, that's fine. So you have to be direct. A lot of times it, it, it's, it, you wanted to say, and, and I know, I hate to gender stereotype here, but like 
that, that there's a directness that that is preferred sometimes, at least for the start. Yes, there is a relationship between temperature and water, period. Like you have to answer their question. Right. Right. Um, and volume, volume of water, not volume of water. Like, and and this is a this is something you will want to do. You know, when you work, when you go to college, you know, you want to repeat back what the person said. Use their words. Yes, there's a relationship with temperature and volume. Okay. So this raises the obvious question: What is the relationship? Okay, so, and you've answered it here. When water is heated, what happens? The molecules decrease the water volume? When water is, he, he, water increases the volume when heated. Right, so that, what you have here doesn't say that. You want to have, you want to have two sentences. When water is heated, dot, 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 when water is cooled dot 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 so i i'm asking you to finish those sentences here got it and they can be very much the same like this in a way or do you want more details yeah i think i think it, like that's we're looking for the details from from the uh source there so you have to talk about the molecules or energy or the speed or all of them got it sorry i don't mean to like make this i'm i don't know why i'm making this so confusing i don't know why well you're you're what you're you're doing the right thing here. I, it, it, I'm doing the right thing, but also by saying, "Hey, nope, we gotta gotta redo it." <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not enough, and um, you'll get there. If you get to where. Yeah. Should I add like about with about the molecule molecules and stuff as well? You you either need to include something about molecules, energy, or the speed of the molecules. You have to give a justification for why it increases volume, and that's one of those things. I mean, just something, put, put something in. And then the other sentence is a copy and paste. It's just the other, other wording of it. Got it. Um, do you mind if you scroll down? I just need to look for about when water is heated. Thank you. Yep, of course. They don't mention anything about molecules um, when water is heated. So I assume that the molecules, um, they don't slow down. I guess they, they speed up or something, because I don't know. Assume the opposite. So whatever happens when it decreases, the opposite happens when it increases. When, when it decreases, it slows down. So that means when it's warm, they speed up? Exactly, yes. There we go.
Okay, so you you've got to you've got to reverse this for the the cause and the effect. Okay, you've got the the cause and effect reversed. The effect is that it increases in volume. The cause is the molecules speed up. So when the water is heated, the molecules speed up, and the volume increases. Oh. Uh you have to, you have the order matters. You don't put your socks on after your shoes are on. Yeah. Okay. So we can, we can rewrite this where we just switch the words. When water is cooled, the molecules slow down and the volume decreases. If you're wondering why wow, the mistakes, I'm I don't normally type when my computer's in this setup. So at that an odd angle. All right, there we go. Uh, and then we get rid of this. All right. Are you satisfied with what's here? Yeah, I'm satisfied. All right. All right, so question two here, which variable is the independent variable and which is the dependent variable? Uh, so this is probably right from your notes. So your physical science class, probably you have notes in the lesson. I don't know how easy it is for you to look at that, but I'm gonna go pull up your lesson notes uh, for physical science. All right. And we'll look up the full course lessons. Which one are we on? Lesson three? Yes, we are. All right. Okay. Uh, so here we go. Uh, the observation. This is about writing a lab. Yeah, I, I'll do the lab report later. I just want to try to... All right, so what I'm looking for, and maybe I'm in the wrong place, I'm looking for information about the independent and dependent variable. So when you don't know where to look for the word. Control uh, you, Yeah, go look for it and maybe it'll feel find it. Um, although so far they're just assuming you know your, you know this. Okay, nothing useful there. All right, so let's go have you go to the internet and look up the difference between an independent and a dependent variable. The difference between an e dependent and yes, an independent, independent variable. And de yeah, it's a, and so I want you to put in your own words the difference between, or what is an independent variable, what is a dependent variable? A dependent variable, okay. Well, a dependent variable is something that depends on something else. And then, that's right. And an independent variable is something that doesn't need anything. It just, it's fine all by itself. So the independent variable is what you are changing. And the dependent variable is affected by the independent variable. So could you uh, could you put something like that into into a sentence or two? Sure. They're asking for the water, right? Yeah. I don't think they're referring to the lab. I think they're just referring to like a general definition here. Although I yeah, but I'm just reading the question, like, which is the independent variable and which is the dependent variable? I assume they're, this is just from question one, if, which is the dependent and independent from the cold and the hot water? Uh, 
okay. So if you want to, then that's, that is, I, I'll say that's reasonable because it is a little odd the way it's written. So what are you changing? What is the thing that you are changing in this situation you just brought up? The dependent variable. No, 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 no. Independent variables, what you're changing. What are you changing in this scenario? Um, the when water you go to temperature? A faucet, yes, there we go. Water temperature. And what is the dependent variable? What is changing based on the water temperature? If it's hot or cold, that's what's changing. Nope, nope, the but output. The molecules, the molecules. And what do the molecules affect? The, the volume. Volume of water, there it is. All right. Okay, last thing here are control variables. These would be things that you're not changing. This might be tough to think about. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and stop here for now. And okay. uh, we'll just pick up here in an hour. All right.